Hey friendos, what's going on guys? My name is Ritz and welcome to a new series on my channel. For the past two weeks, uh, I've started learning Japanese and I kind of wanted to share that process with you guys and I wanted to uh, kind of just go over what I'm learning and help keep myself accountable to make sure I keep going through with it. Uh, basically, I have a trip to Japan planned for some time in end of February, early March, maybe April. Um, we're just trying to get the, the dates down and I wanted to be able to go there and know um, basically as much Japanese as I could before I got there so I'd be able to actually, you know, read the signs, uh, talk to people, like small talk with this and that, and, uh, you know, just, uh, just something I always kind of wanted to do. I thought it'd be really interesting. So Japan uses, uh, three writing systems. They use hiragana, katakana, and kanji. Um, I'm ignoring kanji for now, so we'll start with the, the, the first two, which is hiragana and katakana. Hiragana is for Japanese, like, natural Japanese words, and uh, katakana is for foreign words, like American words. It, it makes sense once you start learning about it, but um, I use these two books, that's Hiragana from Zero and Katakana from Zero, and uh, what they do is they, they give you little, like, worksheets, so you can practice handwriting them, um, which I kind of liked. I liked being able to actually write in the book and uh, learn uh, how the stroke order is and everything, because it helps me memorize the actual um, characters. And uh, I think I spent about four or five days on that, and I finally got it down enough that I was like, all right, I'm ready to like start learning. There's also a ton of apps on your phone that you can get. Uh, I use one. I used one called Dr. Moku's Hiragana and Dr. Moku's Katakana. For example, this is the character Ka, and uh, it kind of looks like the Joker. And so it just uses a mnemonic device right here to help you memorize it. So that's just a couple different ways you can learn it. There's also different websites online you can use uh, to help you use it. Um, I also keep a link in the description of uh, one of the websites I use. I don't know it offhand, but I, I was basically like Hiragana matching you to, you to drag it into the spa as fast as you could. Once I got pretty comfortable with that, I felt r rather comfortable with Hiragana and then moved on to Katakana and all that. So yeah, the, the second thing I did is I got the Genki books. These are, I come, they come highly recommended. There's Genki 1 and Genki 2. This is Genki 1. Uh, this is the Genki 1 workbook, which I would also highly recommend. Uh, it gives you some actual extra practice. You guys can see some of my awful handwriting. Uh, this is one of the pages I filled out for homework. So I decided that I really wanted to get some sort of extra help and uh, probably have some sort of teacher or some sort of tutor or something. Um, and I found the website italki. And so what italki is, is it's basically uh, an informal tutoring slash professional lessons website for language learning. Uh, they have like 70 different languages. So you can learn like Chinese, French, Spanish, Japanese, Portuguese, German, all that fun stuff and it just keeps going and going and going. What I thought was really useful is you can find native speakers of the languages you're learning. So it's not just someone else who's learned the language from someone else, it's someone who actually has like grown up with the language. Um, and you can go through and select your language, select your times and uh, select your price range basically. And you can get professional language lessons from a teacher. Uh, they also have informal tutoring for those of you guys who want just a little extra help for self-studying. For like, oh, there's this stuff I'm struggling with. Basically, they teach you over Skype or some sort of other, you know, program like that. And, uh, some people will have, like, whiteboards that they'll use. They'll have, uh, like, like, slideshows, PowerPoints. So I made an account, signed up, and got my first lesson, which, uh, we went over time and numbers. We went over some of the greetings, and, uh, you know, we, we were studying using this. So she was going through, be like, you know, go to page, uh, Go Ju Yong. I was like, all right, page 54, let's go. Uh, and you just flip through and you go to the page or whatever. My teacher actually has uh, like a PowerPoint for different stuff and it goes through all the, the lessons and stuff, which I think is super useful, super helpful. Uh, and I really enjoy uh, learning with an actual language teacher. After my first lesson, I decided I would like to continue learning Japanese. So I scheduled two more sessions for the next week uh, and actually contacted Italki. I basically told Italki I was planning to make some videos uh, about language learning like this one uh, and do like weekly updates on how I'm doing to keep myself accountable, keep myself motivated, um, and maybe get some more people interested in the website. And they uh, wanted to partner up with me. Uh, so we partnered up. I'm actually an Italki affiliate. And there's a link in the description if you guys want to go sign up. Um, and if you buy one language lesson, you get a second lesson free. So they'll give you like a $10, 10 US dollar credit uh, after you make your first purchase, which I think is super cool. Um, if you guys are interested in learning a language or even just want some extra tutoring on the side to help you through some classes you're already taking, I would highly, highly recommend Italki. And uh, I think it's pretty cool. So this week I had my second and my third session. Uh, we went over like giving phone numbers, the family order, and like uh, who, the, the, the names of the different family members basically. Uh, we went over the particle no. So that was the, the second session. Then the third session this week, we basically finished out chapter one. Uh, we, I learned some of the higher numbers. So I learned like 100 is Hyaku, 1000 is Sen, 10,000 is Ichiman, uh, and just we learned all the numbers and like which ones are kind of weird. Um, and then we concluded the session with some reading and writing practice. Uh, I actually 
for my homework this week, I'm supposed to write on my uh, uh, italki profile about me section, whatever. And so for my uh, homework this week, I'm supposed to do some review of numbers and all that, but also I need to do a writing practice and write um, basically like a in self-introduction about me section. Uh, and I figured I would do that with you guys. Hajime mashite, Ritz desu, San Francisco desu, YouTuber desu, yoroshiku onegashimasu. So I'm sure I butchered that and messed it up somehow, but that is uh, my self-introduction, basically in Japanese. So yeah, that just about wraps it up for this video. Uh, I hope you guys got something out of this, um, or at the very least, you guys can keep me accountable for uh, doing these weekly video updates. I think I'm gonna keep posting these on Mondays, and uh, we'll see, I might start recording me actually like doing the homework and filling out the book and stuff. Um, you know, I obviously don't want to like record the sessions themselves without getting my teacher's permission first. So we'll, we'll see how this works and we'll make something that works for you guys. But if you guys also want to start learning a language or learning a language and want to, uh, you know, share with me your experiences, then uh, please let me know in the comments down below. Uh, and uh, again, if you guys want to sign up for italki, the link is down in the description. I would highly, highly recommend them. As always, friend knows my name is Ritz and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. He looks pretty high. He looks this. really high. Ah! Ow! Sorry, man, for <laughs> shooting you in the face. Go about your ways. Please, yeah, business. You need to. Oh, no drugs in him. No He's drugs. fine. He's okay. fine. He's fine. Ow! Yeah, let's go topless all the time. I'll just start doing some crunches. What else? We'll be fine. Would I rather have no hands or have a naked fat guy stalking you at all times? I already have this one. Thanks, Kevin. Really appreciate it, bud.